Guys, we need some way of fighting the enemies that isn't as expensive as our massive ship. And I say massive, it isn't even that big. So, what are we going to do? Well, today, I think we're going to work on our little boat. We're going to try and add a weapon to it that we can actually use. And then maybe we can actually go out there and fight some enemies. I don't know whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, but let's get straight to it, shall we? There are lots of enemies in Stoneworks, from Navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stoneworks Search and Destroy. Okay, so this right here is our boat. What I'm suspecting we should do is we should actually move these guys downwards. I know that seems like a bit of a weird thing to, to do, but I think moving these downwards is definitely the first step. Uh, we're going to go down by two, which might be a bit weird, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, we're then going to have to delete these guys, obviously, because otherwise it looks weird. And we're going to have to attach these guys together. So shove that onto there. There we go. Merge this up. There we go. Very nice. And now we just attach this upwards. Boom. There we go. It looks weird, but I think it'll work. From there, we're going to try and design some sort of uh, vehicle -le -le gun. What, what does that even mean? We're going to try and design a cannon uh, that goes on the front of this thing. Now, I'm thinking instead of like a rotary auto cannon, because that is too much, we actually use either a light auto cannon or a heavy auto cannon. Probably the heavy auto cannon uh, on this build. And this is how big a heavy auto cannon is. So I think this is going to work out, actually. Uh, the first thing that I want to do then is add ourselves a pivot so that we can actually uh, turn the cannon around. Let's go and delete these guys. Shove this into there. We'll actually use this color for that. There we go. And yeah, the cannon is going to be mounted on top of here. Ooh, how is that going to go? All right, so I'm thinking auto cannon belt is going to go on here kind of like this. So we need to somehow mount that on there. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, if I do this and this... We should be able to shove one of these guys into there like this. Okay, that totally works, actually. We're then going to put a small drum on the side, and the cannon itself is going to be mounted directly onto the top. That seems pretty good, actually. I like it. Oh, actually, the issue with that is we need to be able to aim up and down, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a pivot. Actually, should we have that at the back? I think we might actually have to have that at the back. So let's delete this guy and do this. Oh, that doesn't work. Maybe if we do it from here. Ah, oh, yeah. Something like this. We then go ahead and get ourselves another pivot. All right, for up and down. So it's going to be like this guy. And we're going to just shove that onto here like this. Yeah. I mean, that seems a bit weird, but I think it'll work out, actually. Yeah, I actually do. That looks kind of cool. Um... Okay, but the issue is, obviously, this will get in the way. This thing. And I don't want that. Hmm. Alright, so that right there is the base of it, which may seem a little bit strange. But if we go ahead and add one of these seats to the side, kind of like right here, I think that'll end up looking pretty good. We're also going to actually mount this to the side right here as well, as well as this guy. And we'll just shove one of those into there. Uh, obviously, on the other side, we don't need it to be that way. So I'm actually going to delete all of those. And shove this guy back into there like this. That totally works. Alright, so off the side of the cannon, we're going to add a camera. Now, because the center of the camera actually should line up with the center of the seat, we're going to have to, like, extend it outwards a little bit. Now, I'm thinking probably to use one of these. In fact, maybe two of those. We then add a... Oh, no, it's not a camera, is it? It's not. It's actually just a monitor. Oh, okay, so the monitor goes on here like this. We'll then actually just shove one of these guys onto there like that. That's fine. And then I guess we need a camera mounted somewhere as well. Where should the camera actually go, though? I'm not sure. Like, should I just mount it right here? I think that would work, but it looks a bit weird. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we mount the camera actually underneath. That could work, actually. Let's just go ahead and shove it on there like that. We will be able to see, so that'll all be good. And that's fine. All right, let's type in heavy. We're going to extend the barrel by one. And I might actually give it a muzzle break as well, like this one. That looks insane. It looks maybe a little bit too long like that, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so we need to defend ourselves somehow. So I'm thinking we actually go to both sides. We do this. 
Uh, we actually go ahead and angle these pieces upwards slightly like so. There we go. And then on the sides, we're actually going to go ahead and make some shields kind of like this. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm, I'm assuming here. Um, yeah. Although, actually, what if we delete those? And instead of those, we actually use these guys. Yeah, that would actually work out a lot better, I think. Awesome. That's kind of cool. So now we've got ourselves a bit of a defense in here as well. That's great. That is super, super cool. Obviously, there is a big gap in the middle. <laughs> but we can do something like this. And that will protect us. At least I think so, anyway. That looks awesome. Alright, so I believe I've actually connected everything here together. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn this in and see how it works. It might be that it doesn't really work very well, but we will definitely see. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and jump on board and have a little look at this. Obviously, it would be nicer maybe if we didn't control it from outside. Uh, but it is what it is. So if I want to aim it up and down, we do this. Okay, that actually totally works. There we go. If I want to zoom in, we can do that too. If I want to turn left and right, that works too. All of it needs inverting, but it all does actually work. Awesome. Alright, here it is. So if we aim it upwards, there we go. I feel like this shield doesn't look quite right, so we need to fix that. But uh, everything else does actually sort of work. So let's go ahead and fire. Oh yeah, this is going to do some damage. That is awesome. But yeah, we need to uh, do something with this shield. I'm not sure what just yet, but it, it needs to have something happen to it. Maybe we actually extend it out one more. Uh, and then we like stick it up into the air a bit, I guess. We could do something like this. And then maybe even like this. There we go. Like a little bit more defense. Uh, but if we are going to do that, I want to do it in the other color. Yeah. I want it to sort of stand out a little bit is the thing. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. Awesome. Awesome. We're then going to go ahead and shove these guys onto here. One, two. And I'm going to shove this guy onto the top of there. Extend it out by about three. Do this guy. And do these guys as well. There we go. And then maybe angle it around the corner. But I don't know how that's going to look. So let's say I did like this. Hmm. I'm not sure about it. But maybe. <laughs> maybe two. I don't know. That seems a bit crazy as well. We could leave it like that. That would actually totally work. Well, kind of, anyway. Uh, if I then go ahead and shove one of these guys onto there. There we go. And we extend it backwards just a little bit. I can then sort out the edge pieces. Kind of like this. And kind of like this. I'm going to do that all the way up to there. I'm going to fix these guys into place like this. That works, I think. The other issue I have is that this guy is sort of too low. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to move it upwards. I'm going to paste it in right there. We're then going to actually add some pipes into these guys, and I'm just going to shove them on there like this. Alright, that's a bit bizarre, but sure, I'm sure it works. There we go, connect that to this. I'm going to delete this piece, and I'm going to do this instead. And there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, look at that! That is awesome! Obviously, in order to actually shoot it, I need to be able to aim around. If I zoom in, we can actually see what's going on. I think that works. Yeah. Alright. Uh, if we are going to do that, though, we need some extra ammo mounted around this place. Because uh, otherwise, we'll run out so quickly. And there we go. We got two big old barrels right here. Ready to uh, armor, armor ourselves up? Ammo ourselves up, I guess. Sure, that all works fine. The issue is now, I don't know whether this boat still runs properly. So we need to try and actually get this thing into the air. And have it fly around? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is the electric version. Uh-oh. I didn't want to use the electric version. Fortunately, I think the front and the rear of the electric version are the same anyway. The only issue is, obviously, the, uh, the engines. So if I just go ahead and cut this, we load up the other version of the boat, the unarmed version, which seems weird because we're about to arm it up. There we go. We paste that in. We merge this with this. There we go. That's actually fine. It seems I missed a bit, so I went back and sorted that out. That's all good. So now we're connecting that to the electricity, which is already connected to, and it is ready to go. We got the big old engines in this one, and a uh, big old fuel tank. I'm happy with it. Okay, so I know what a bunch of you guys are going to say. You're all going to say, why don't you put it on mouse controls? I just don't like mouse controls, I'm not going to lie. I've said it a million times before, but I just don't like it. I, I have no idea why I don't like it, but yeah. 
Let's go ahead and try and set off. Alright, we're going to have to zoom a bit. There we go. And we want to sort of keep ourselves at the right altitude. Oh, otherwise this will happen. And you see, that is not something that you want to happen on a boat. It's not. So, yeah, we need to keep it, like, in the water, otherwise it will have some serious issues. Okay, so this is currently what it's like in a straight line. The issue is, actually, that we have two propellers instead of one. Uh, that meaning that it will actually push us over when we turn. So, that's sort of the issue. As long as I don't turn too hard, though, it does actually seem relatively stable, and obviously it is extremely fast, and also fuel efficient too, so you get quite a few uh, best of both worlds here uh, situations going on. Um, and I'm really happy about that actually, that's really really cool. So now that that works, I think what we need to do is go out in the tanker really quickly, we need to go get more diesel, because we currently don't have very much, and we need to bring that back to our base. Alright, actually, hang on. I need to go into this really quickly and just check one thing. Do these guys have electricity? Yes, they do. Are they connected? We do have a reverse gear now, guys. <laughs> reverse is on one. Okay, is it labeled? Let's go ahead and check. No. There we go. Right, so now, now we can actually go in reverse. Not gonna lie, though, we don't really have very much diesel at all. We've only got 6,000 liters altogether. And clearly, that's not very much. So, uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and try and spend 25k. Yeah, we're going to do it. Let's just spend all of our money on some diesel. That's crazy. Not going to lie, I think we still need to add a weapon to this thing. And also, uh, a load of the interior hasn't been built still. And really, I, I, I do think we should sort of try and finish it, to be honest. Um, it is kind of a cool boat. It does work, and that's kind of what matters. And overall, I actually think it looks quite nice, too. Yeah, we could actually upload this to the workshop. The issue is, obviously, the interior sucks right now. It's all just brown everywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> it sort of doesn't look very nice inside of here. These doors seem to open the wrong way around. Uh, if we go downstairs, this is where our bed is, which is fine. I mean, that is A-OK, -okay, but I don't know. I guess the bed could go back there and this could be like an equipment room or something. I'm not sure. I feel like the captain should be close to the bridge at all times. So maybe we don't do that. But anyway, we're going to get there. We're going to go ahead and reverse in rather than reversing out. Because, well, being full of diesel might make things a little bit more difficult. We'll see. Alright, here we go. So let's go ahead and get in front of this. Yes. And then we'll reverse in. I feel like in reverse gear, this boat is going to be very wobbly. Uh, but I'm sure it's fine. So let's do it. Whack it in reverse. Okay, we are... Yep, I thought this might happen. Oh. Yeah, so essentially the issue is... Our stabilizer only works when going forwards. When going in reverse, it does not work. So I'm trying to tap it in reverse, so that it goes backwards extremely slowly. Oh, okay. Otherwise that'll happen. Oh my. Maybe I reverse out, but I just don't see that being a, a useful thing. You know? I don't see reversing out as being any good. But maybe it'll work, I don't know. I'll be back with you guys once I'm in there, anyway. Okay, uh, we have made it. It does automatically balance itself out afterwards, so don't worry about this too, too much. Uh, the fact that it is on its side. <laughs> it's fine. It's actually fine. So, let's go ahead and jump across. Oh, I can't. That was a really bad jump. Um, and we'll go ahead and attach onto this thing and refuel. Okay, so I spent all of my money, except $49, on filling up just my fuel tank. Uh, they, I, I didn't actually put- well, that's, that's actually not necessarily true. I put 500 liters in the other tank before I started, because I needed to get it onto the boat, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just start up the engines again. And now we can drive forwards out of here. Do I have it in forward gear or reverse? I have no idea. It's in forward now. There we go. So I need to try and dodge that crane. There we go, nice. 
And now we can slowly drive out of here and drive straight back to our base. If you're wondering, we have 17,000 liters of fuel on board. So you know what? We actually ended up getting quite a bit more than we had, and that is great. So let's go ahead and travel the 7.4 kilometers back and uh, get out our other boat, I guess. Although, actually, we'll do some more modifications to that thing first. Okay, we've made it back. There we go. So now we have $49. Although, if we go into our new boat, this one, we now have $38,483. We also have a boat that is very fuel efficient. We can fill up the fuel tank on it, and we could probably travel around the world actually very, very, very effectively. What I want to do is I actually want to add some things to this. We need a way of refueling it, so I'm probably going to put a hole right here. We also need a way of recharging it if we lose electricity or whatever. So we're going to do that. And we just need some extra details. So I'll quickly add all of those things and we'll see what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so we've added equipment and it looks all right, I suppose. Let's go ahead and save it really quickly, overwrite the vehicle, and we're, we're sort of ready. The issue is we actually need to add a flashlight to this. In fact, if we type in equipment again, yes. Uh, we'll add a few things. So, defibrillator, we're just gonna add a bunch of stuff in here for now. Um, defibrillator can actually go there. In fact, we can actually fit it like this. There we go. We'll put a fire extinguisher right here as well. There we go. A welder? Can I even fit a welder in there? Not really. Nope, but I can put it up there. That's fine. Um, I'm essentially just adding a bunch of spare things. Flashlight, let's go and shove one of those up here. Binoculars, I need to find some of those. Where are they? A compass? I mean, maybe that'll be useful at, at some point. Who knows? Shove that in there. Uh, I need binoculars. Where are they? Where... Where are they? Binoculars. Yes. And another thing I'd like to add is actually some C4. <laughs> and, and the detonator for said C4. So let's go and do this. There we go. Add a detonator for this. There we go. Awesome. And also, some other weapons as well. So I'm actually going to go for a rifle. We're going to go and store that somewhere, probably outside. Let's store the rifle itself here. And on the other side, we can just have uh, the ammo for said rifle. So, rifle ammo. Let's shove that there. One, two, three. Awesome. Yes! Go ahead and shove this into here like that. This into here like this. We can probably get away with doing these guys. And also, this. Hold on, where is it? Delete that. This. Bosh and Bosh. Awesome. Okay, so I've come downstairs. We're going to grab a flashlight first. We're then going to put uh, this back. Put this back. Grab the um, binoculars. Grab a compass. All right, we are good to go now. So climb out of here. Close the little hatch. Awesome. That is staying there. Brilliant. I might have to move this. Honestly, those air supplies are actually kind of in the way. If they were, like, up here, that would make a lot more sense. Um, but I haven't done it that way, so never mind. But anyway, we're inside. We have 7,000 liters of fuel. Oh, I'm sorting that out right now. I've accidentally, obviously, connected this to there. That is not what we wanted. I have no idea how I did that, but I did. So, now it's good. All right, we're inside. So let's go ahead and head towards the enemy base. I'm actually going to go ahead and try and fight the ship that we left out there last time. Um, whether that's a good or a bad idea, who knows? It's likely a bad idea, but it doesn't matter to me. All right, start the engines. Throttle up. There we go. Turn this on. If it lifts us into the air a little bit, that'd be great. Off we go. <laughs> Yes! How fast are we actually traveling right now? 60! Almost 70 meters per second. It is bouncing out of the water a good bit, but... That's fine! Yeah! I mean, it's not really. This is actually pretty bad, but... We're going. We'll make it there in no time. Wait, we're using too much battery power. Why are we using so much battery power? Is it because the surfaces, the control surfaces are going all crazy? Is that the reason? That might be the reason. If that goes down too far, we're going to have some issues. 
I should probably travel back to base and try and sort that out, actually. All right, I shoved it into... <laughs> I shoved it into the GPS uh, to see if it would actually turn us around. We are turned around and we're heading back in the right direction. Uh, our engine has seemingly died. Uh, because water has gone into it, I would imagine. We were so deep there. Oh my goodness. Alright, we've made it back up to the surface. I need to go again. I don't know if the engines are going to start. That doesn't sound like the engines are going to start. To be honest, this boat has had some issues with starting its engines, like, every single time, and I don't really know why. We've got, like, three starters per engine. I feel like what I might need to do is actually add a gas relief, not a gas relief valve, but a gas valve onto the air supply, because we do occasionally go underwater, and obviously that's a problem. Okay, so it turns out this is kind of the only boat I have that will be able to do the job. I've gone ahead and made it electrified, so we've got a bunch of batteries in here, and we've got ourselves a motor as well. I do need to add a dial onto this as well, because currently, um, oh, actually, oh yeah, no, uh, I could shove it down there maybe. No, I won't be able to see it. Um, the dial can go here. Because uh, currently it doesn't have a speedo, it also doesn't have a battery monitor. The only thing I'm actually interested in is the battery monitor, so let's do that. Uh, the backlight can go to lights as well. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to use this to try and tow our boat back. I do think it's going to be a bit of an issue trying to do that, but we'll see. Maybe. Also, slight side note, I've added a bed to the back of this thing, which could kill us uh, if it gets wavy. But, hopefully... There we go, it's not wavy at all. Excellent. So, we're gonna go ahead and sail out there using this. Which shouldn't take very long at all. Because we're an electric boat! Yes! Alright, set destination, there we go. We'll go all the way out there, we'll then connect all of our rope anchors to that boat. And hopefully we can tow it back without any issues. Although the fact that this boat is this fast is probably gonna cause some issues itself. We'll see though. I may or may not have looked away from the computer as I uh, got here. <laughs> I actually sailed straight past it, but that's fine. Whoa! As long as we slowly come over and attach on. So, yeah. I don't want to, like, sail away from it. I just want to attach onto it. Let's go ahead and actually use these ones on the edge. I hate that there is... So, there's no collision box here. You actually have to look at the um, thing itself, if that makes sense. Which it doesn't. I understand that it doesn't make sense. Um, I, I wish that you just had to look at this piece in order for it to attach on. But you don't. You have to look at the block itself. Which is kind of annoying. But yeah. Anyway, we're attached on now, so we should be able to just sail away. Sail back to our base just over here. Now, I'm thinking we're going to have to do that relatively slowly. Because this boat itself is... I mean, it's kind of stable by itself, but also not at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we got we got some issues. In fact, we do have issues. We need to reverse. I can't even reverse. I need to use this to reverse. Right? Oh! Okay, it did it, like, instantly that time. Interesting. Um, and essentially, I want to connect these on again. There we go. That's not quite going to work out again, but it is what it is. Drive. No, in forwards, please. No, that's lights. Oh, my. Okay, well, if it's going to act like this... Uh, it does want to tip over. It does want to tip over. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to sort that out. Do I have a connector point in the middle? I don't. Ugh. Okay, well, this is going to take me a super duper long time to get back to the to the base uh, because this boat doesn't really tow it very well. So, uh, yeah, I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, and in the next one, I think we'll be going to war. I'm going to take this boat with this heavy auto cannon to war. I might also actually add some sort of light auto cannon for aerial targets because that is going to be a little bit slow, I think. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, whether this is a cool idea or a dumb idea. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.